What is up, guys? This is the Doctor Six One Seven, and for those of you wondering, Doc, what the fuck are you doing? This is definitely not anything that I would have expected coming in here off the bat. Uh, to start, there is a good reason for this. One, uh, many people have been asking me about what I like to do in my off time besides drinking beer and playing video games. Um, so I'm going to answer that question for you today, uh, as well as um, the simple fact that my PlayStation of late, I do need to bring that in for maintenance. Uh, which kind of sucks on my end, uh, as much as I hate to say it, that that's just, this is how it is, um, now I'm trying to see how the hell I can tell whether or not, oh, there you go, cool, so, there you go, cool, there you go, so that fixes that, there you go, cool, there you go, so fuck that shit, all right, anyway, so, um, what do I have here today? Well, what I have here today is something that I'm definitely excited about. I got this in the mail just the other day uh, for Daniel. Yes, I fixed the McDonald's Wi-Fi. I know, I know. Many of you guys are freaking out. You're like, what the fuck is this dude doing on a live stream? Well, so in this box here, it is a massive goddamn box, by the way. Huge. Um, this box right here contains something that was pretty dirt cheap for me uh only because i've been shopping there a lot and we'll get into it but right quick i want to show you what led up to this decision this purchase and we're going to come right over here so mind, mind my messy dining room table by the way uh also this is totally not uh sponsored by bailey's and sky vodka as well as southern comfort but whatever so there you got it southern comfort mostly southern comfort so to start the first weapon that I got uh, the first marker, which is right here. This is the Project Salvo. It is a U.S. Army uh, Tipman made marker, paintball marker. This was the first ever marker that I got. Now, it's going to be a little hard because I'm, I'm using one hand here, but this has a collapsible stock on the back side, which I can literally just collapse out, and boom, you got yourself a fully, uh, a fully red uh, carbine marker, essentially. Uh, this is a semi-automatic. As you can see, here is the pullback mechanism here. There is your hopper, your feeder. Down here, this right here is actually your toolkit. Uh, many people always thought that this was mag-fed. This is not mag-fed. This is just simply a toolkit. The only reason why they thought it was mag-fed is because you can detach it through this right here. Now, I've been trying to get a barrel extension for this, and I've been trying to get myself a good durable sight for the top mount here but for right now we're rocking iron sights and other than that many people have been asking me whether or not i was going to do a modification trigger basically it's going to be a pressure trigger where behind this trigger here there is going to be a little um pressure device almost uh so when i pull this back and i hit the g-spot essentially on this marker that it would it would just constantly automatically feed paintballs now, yes, this is an extendable stock, and yes, it is collapsible, but that was this, this marker right here, as much as it's durable, and I've had it for years and years and years, many people don't realize that I've been trying to get bigger and better with what I got. So then the next purchase, unfortunately for me, was the, the Tipman A5, which if I just kind of you know give you an overall view of it itself it has an extremely short barrel i mean it's small as shit granted they're all 68 caliber markers this is small as shit the paint job took me fucking weeks don't even want to get into that i have an acog scope with the same paint job i couldn't find it today for you which really pisses me off but if we ever do use it down the road i'm definitely going to have that acog slapped up on top of there um as you can see right now, it's in safe. This actually does have um, a, mod a modified trigger. So when you push fire, you are now in um, what is considered to be a variable state. Because it's originally a, a semi-automatic marker, um, unfortunately, with the pressure trigger, if you see back here, there's a little tiny pin. You can just barely see it, but when that is out, and when the gas is in, 
and you let that go, essentially your trigger is going to keep repeating itself. That's technically a repeater. Now, to show you what happened here, again, this is semi-automatic, and I'll explain why. Now, I went bold with this when I was painting it. I actually, I'm going to just rip this off real quick here. There you go. Now, I sawed that off. Now, this is the butt stock. Originally, it used to be about the same size as that stock without it being attached. So I'm just going to leave that this over here for now. Um, now, as you can see in the back, when I had installed the pressure gauge, as you can see here, the pressure gauge feeds into the back of the trigger mechanism and then feeds additional gas lines from uh, down here and up. This is going to feed directly into your trigger mechanism, which is going to feed your paintball. So automatically, there's extra air pumping through your main chamber. Now, up here, this is a cyclone feeder. Cyclone feeders are hella expensive um, for the the hopper or the the um, as we like to say the uh, bag, if you will. But um, essentially, this right here. This, this mechanism here will help you uh, to feed your uh, paintballs into your marker much more efficiently at a faster pace. Most automatic uh, paintball guns end up using things like these. Uh, but other than that, we're going to go ahead and move on here. Um, this right here, this was my second recent purchase. I actually got this last year. Dusty as shit because I have a fucking war story with this right here. And this this piece of shit is the the AR-1 by Tipman. Now, I've never seen a shittier Tipman rifle in my life. Now, usually Tipman's very good quality, highly durable. This piece of shit does not work for shit. And I'll explain why. Basically, the mechanism here snapped. This is going to cost me an arm and a leg to repair. Just this little piece right here. So I can't, I can't pull any paintballs through this marker at all. At all. I mean, it looks great. It's the AR-1 variant. It's got this nice little... I really do like this here. It's a nice little collapsible foregrip. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better. And, of course, this right here is a beauty. This is the Apex Barrel. I'm going to try and remove this and put it on uh, the gun that or the marker that I just got today. Um, the apex barrel, you can actually curve your shot here, and if you can see the little mechanism here, depending on if you pull it forward or backward, uh, it will actually, uh, let's just go ahead and just give you a uh, quick demonstration. So you're looking down the barrel right now, as you can see here, that's actually going to determine how, how uh, far your shot, so if you're shooting far, essentially your paintball is going to be fed at a more accurate rate. The Apex 2 is an, a tremendous barrel, kind of looks like a silencer, it is not a silencer, I wish it was, um, but this is actually, you can curve your shots a little bit with depending on which way you turn it, and of course, this little mechanism here to determine accuracy. Now, of course, if you're just going to be laying people out, you know, it's a little different. Um... Yeah, I don't know what happened to this screw, but it's not that important anymore. Uh, I'm probably going to end up selling this, uh, and I might actually get a good number on this because the paint job is custom done, and the modifications to the uh, marker itself are custom done for it to be an automatic. Uh, as for this, I'm going to keep that because that's reliable as shit, and it's always pulled through. Now we get on to the main event. Let's go. Um, so, got this in the mail just the other day. Yes, I already opened it to make sure that all the key components were there. Um, so, without further ado, I introduce to you the Tipman TMC uh, J20 variant. Get to show you guys a little bit about what what kind of weapon it is, etc. Uh, before we get into this, it is an M4 carbine uh, model or remake and. Yes, for the base model that it takes after, it takes after the Griffin, or most commonly, uh, the 98 Custom. The 98 Custom is like the base gun for basically a uh, majority of those weapons over there. But for the most part, we're just going to get into this right now, give you guys a little product review, and go from there. So, to start, you got to take this, and no, I'm joking, I'm not going to walk you through how to open a fucking box. So, this is what we got in the mail. This is the TMC... Uh, by Tipman. It is a semi-automatic 68 caliber mag-fed paintball gun marker. Now, this is the cool part. It's fully pneumatic, meaning I can convert it from hopper 
to MACFED. So everything that runs on that, those systems there runs on this system here. That is freaking phenomenal. And all it simply takes is a very, very easy conversion. Now, as you can see here, there's no unscrewing of this weapon required. All you got to do is take these pieces and simply and tack them on right here. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. That's why I wanted to get this because I do like MAGFED. MAGFED means conserving your paintballs because paintballs up here are expensive as shit. I love Airsoft. Many of you are like, why don't you do Airsoft? It's cheaper. Airsoft around here doesn't really happen. We have one field two and a half hours away compared to you know three different types of paintball fields that are all within 45 minutes of me. So for me, paintball is the way to go. Now, these are not pneumatic. I can't change, like, without completely taking apart these guns, I can't make these into MAGFED. I can completely take them apart, rework the insides. This thing, good to go, looks beautiful, and I think right about now we should try to uh, just quickly go through what we're looking at here. So this is a semi-auto, right, MAGFED. Now, this box comes with two 20-round ball AR slash M4 style magazines and, of course, a dummy clip just in case you want to put your hopper in. Now, for you non-essential paintball fans here, uh, to fill you in, the hopper right here, essentially there's going to be like almost like a plastic bag which will hold all of the paintballs that you'll, you will use to fire out of your marker. This right here is basically the middleman. This is going to feed from your bag into your marker, the paintballs. Now, this right here is simply a cover so that you can put it where the hopper should go and then apply your, um, your paintball mags. So, without further ado, I'm going to take this out of the box. Again, I got one hand going on. Additional mags because I will run out of those eventually. And we'll go ahead and take this out. Go ahead and slap it down over there. And I'm going to just throw this on the floor because fuck my floor. All right, cool. So, let's see here. I'm a little nervous. Uh, I did actually um, go through everything here. I'm a little nervous that it might not work on the field. I highly doubt it, though, because semi-automatic systems are extremely reliable. I mean, that semi-automatic system has been working ever since I bought it. That semi-automatic system stopped working ever since I modified it, and that fully automatic just sucks. So I'm back to semi-automatic, and especially with MagFed, you got yourselves 20 fucking round paintball magazines. Of course, Tipman uh, bought and paid for, as you can see there. Not bad at all. Of course, that's where you will be feeding in everything uh, for your weapon. I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out and put it on the table here so that we can get a good bird's eye view of what we will be looking at in terms of this. Here's your dummy mag. As you can see, this is going to be for when you want to put your hopper into, um, into your marker, as you can see here. So when you apply this, you apply your dummy mag because if you don't apply your dummy mag, balls are going to start falling out from this position and you don't want that so here you go and then of course we just got the basics uh you know the additional spare tools parts etc all right here of course we're going to have more tools etc uh within the box somewhere here is your magazine i'm going to just quickly take the barrel out so that people can get a bird's eye view you take the barrel out i don't know uh, this is a 12-inch barrel. I've been trying to get an 18-inch barrel. Let me just go ahead and back it up for you so you can see. So th this is a 12-inch barrel. Originally, I was looking for something along the lines of 18, so we might end up um, either taking the apex barrel off of the AR-1 and putting it on here, or just getting a barrel extension for this weapon. So right quick, I'm going to take this out the box and maybe do, just do a quick setup for you guys so that you guys can see and of course 800 numbers just love to call me at this time this time they're probably gonna sell me a refrigerator but I'm not answering that so they can go fuck off anyway um, so as you can see here this is the paintball marker I already put the um, the, the modification as you can see here this is where this goes, just like that. That's where it sits. Now, when I'm not using the hopper, I'm, I'm going to be putting this on here. This is just simply the cover. Now, yes, it does have an adjustable stock, and yes, I, I might end up painting over the black parts here real quick. 
uh, and then maybe get back to you with you know how it looks after the fact. Again, this is just the base model for the TMC. Now we're gonna go just put this together. So bear with me. Two seconds of darkness. Trust me, it will be quick as shit. I got you covered. All right. If you need a timer, you can now. If I take more than ten seconds, go ahead and tell me to fuck myself. <laughs> Alright, let's see here, we're going to turn this. Now, the really cool thing about this is that um, this is the first video blog, if you will, or the first vlog, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but uh, I figured I'd start off with paintball because I love paintball. I would like to... Yes, I know. I, I know. Uh, I need to get myself a stand, Danny. I've realized that. I mean, this is going to, this is mostly because me and my buddy, we wanted to do some sort of uh, kind of out and about adventurous blogs, but we don't want to carry a camera around. So we want to see how the iPhone does. I'm shooting this with an iPhone 6. This is not a fancy camera or anything. The quality, for the most part, is pretty sweet. This is with my iPhone. Now, this is the TMC. This is what it looks like, base model. As you can see here, now it's mag fed, of course, so you're going to miss your mag. You got your dummy mag here, and then you got your 20 round mag here. Now, this right here, uh, this grip, I don't know if I like this grip, and the only reason why is because it got all these studs and shit on it. Now, that's just a personal thing, but I really do like how it's very low profile with the uh, chamber. And if I can get that, I got a um, gigantic fucking. Uh, uh, O2 tank here. Uh, I think it's a 40 ounce. I'm not too sure about that, but to put this in a retrospective, I'll go ahead and put my go ahead and put my tank in here. This is so. This is the tank I've been using for the last like two years or so. Um, beaten to shit. Really heavy. I've been trying to get a lighter tank here um, for my weapons. Of course, this is a really light weapon. The marker is very, very light in general. This, of course, got some weight to it, especially when it's full. Now, right now, I can still use it. It's on two PSI, roughly 200,000 parcels, which is really, really, really good, which means I can test fire this weapon without having to go to some sort of paintball place or some party store and refill it, because that's a pain in the ass. Um, so, Real quick, I'm obviously I don't know if I want to fire this in my house. Maybe we'll do it once for you guys if that works out. If 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 you want me to just give this a quick fire, a test fire, go ahead and hit that like button or comment that I'm a jackass or something. Um, obviously, I'll put the dummy mag in because uh, uh, to answer Danny's question, Danny asked me if I used a remote line. I do actually have a remote line. I do use a remote line from time to time. Uh, I use a remote line for my automatic weapons, uh, but for my semi-automatic, um, I do not. Automatic, yes. Semi, no. The reason why I don't use a remote line for my semis is because, you know, I'm going to be running around. I'm going to be reloading. It's going to be a pain in the ass trying to reach, you know, um, behind my vest and such. And I actually got my vest set up right there. Uh, I just got home from work, so let's let's forget about that bag over there. Um, so essentially, uh, this right here, this is my main vest when I'm out in the woods, and behind that is just my urban vest. Now, I'll get into that stuff in a little bit. We'll take about a quick one or two minutes to just go through and explain all of this. Um, so real quick, we're going to hook this up and give it a test shot, and then after we give it a test shot... Um, we'll go ahead and, um, look through like, you know, what I like to wear in terms of what the, um, simulation group likes to do. Yes, I am in a simulation group outside of gaming. Uh, it is kind of mil sim. It's more like realism, really. Uh, if you really want to go ahead and, and th those are my patches. Those are my unit patches. Never go full retard is our moto. And Whiskey Tango Fox Shot, the place I'm from, the West Roxbury Task Force or the West Task Force. Uh, obviously, for those of you guys not in the military, Whiskey Tango Fox Shot, military acronyms for what the fuck. And of course, never go full retard. That's from Tropic Thunder, uh, where Robert Downey Jr. plays a black guy. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say on that topic. But. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, so we're, let's go ahead and hook this up real quick. Now, to slide the mag in, you literally just, and there, and there you go. There you go. It's in. So um, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead real quick. I'm going to take that and screw it into that. So that's going to take a little bit. I just got to make sure that the stream is in and that it's connected. That way I don't have any leakage because, you know, I really do want to test this out, make sure it's working. As you can see here, this is on just a little over two PSI. So once, once you get closer to one, your, 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 your marker is not going to be firing. Uh, you know, and of course, knowing me, I'm going to be a nutbag going through my PSI with my marker, uh, my new marker. So uh, real quick, 10 seconds, guys. I swear to God, I'll be back in 10 seconds. Nighty night. Just 10 seconds. Yeah, but um, if you do like the new purchase, go ahead and hit that like button. If you do, uh, if you like anything that you're seeing, uh, definitely hit that like button. If you know anybody uh, who is interested in paintball or if you're interested in paintball and you really would like to get involved uh, and you have any questions for me about, like, what's the best way to start, you know, wh what are you looking for in terms of equipment, things like that, uh, just let me know uh, because you really don't need all that much. Now, here you go. It's in. This is going to be loud as shit, probably. I'm going to scare my dog. Uh, yes, I have a dog. I'm a dog person. Deal with it. You know, I like cats, too, but they just, I don't know, they're hella fucking moody, and, and that's it. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, fire this off real quick so that you can get kind of like a hear for it. So as you can see here, that is the pullback mechanism. We're going to go ahead and Oh, God, I need two hands. Hold on. There you go. That is loaded. That is loaded. There's no markers in it. I already checked for a marker. Now, I'm going to dry fire at this box because fuck that box. Probably going to scare my dog in the process. So if you hear something like moving about over there, that's just my dog. Uh, no problem. So here we go. Ready? That's what it sounds like. Not bad at all. Got a real nice uh, loud thune to it. Loudest gun, I would say, out of all of them is definitely the Salvo, and the only reason why is because I used to run CO2 out of this thing, so the barrel is kind of like, the system itself is kind of fucked up, so it shoots really fucking loudly, and the really cool part is that um, it smokes a lot, and I, I seriously mean smokes. Now, obviously, it's not bad smoke, it's, it's just normal, but um, loudest definitely by far quiet is definitely by far and this is just sounding like sex on a beach now again i'm going to paint this up definitely got to get a new one of these uh we're going to get a foregrip a scope uh probably a canted scope to the right or left depending on what i do because obviously as you can see if i take my paintball mask right now and you know if, if i try to put it up it gets in the way of me lining up a perfect shot as you can see you know you can't get a perfect shot on with that so uh, essentially, I'm going to try and get a canted scope to the side uh, and then maybe put the iron sights up top. Uh, over here, we might actually do something with these reels. Now, i got four of them up front, so I'm definitely planning on doing something with the front of this. Barrel extension, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about the buttstock. I might end up keeping it. I don't know just yet. Really do like this. This weapon so far, haven't used it on the field, mind you. If I had to give it a rating right now in terms of how it looks, how it feels, it's got a great weight to it. It looks great. Looks just like an M4 model variant carbine, uh, you know, from experience. It's not too bad. Obviously, it's not going to look exactly the same, but it looks close to it, similar to it. It reminds me very heavily of it. I love the pullback pin feature. I love that you can easily convert it between mag fed and hopper fed. Dummy mag for looks. Uh, if I had to request something, give me more fucking magazines because I go through these things faster than you would think. I have four magazines here. This cost me 30 bucks for two magazines. That is a lot of fucking money, and they only give me two. Now, originally, I thought this was um, a live magazine, but I, I guess that's not the case, so whatever. We'll just have that there. So I got four magazines. I'm going to have to get like three or four more packs of these just to survive a big simulation game. And we're going to have a couple of those coming up this season. It's currently in season. This is the season opener. This is when teams are going to come out and do their practicing for the big games. A lot of take the town, a lot of Alamo style um, situations. Uh, there's a lot of objective-based simulation games that I love to play with my guys. Um, uh, if you go on to my um, Instagram account, it's at uh, T-H-E underscore Dr. 617. 
on Instagram. You can go ahead and, and look at some of the pictures that we got from our, our times out at Simulation Games playing about with all the guys and such. Uh, that we can kind of get a feel for what it's like or you know if you haven't seen me in person you, you can definitely see me in those instagram feeds um but other than that um that is about it in terms of the tmc so real quick i'm just going to unscrew this because i don't want to waste any more psi from this so 10 seconds once more uh but if you do enjoy anything you see hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to the channel as you uh may not have already noticed we are almost at the 500 mark and i got a feeling by the end of this video we will be way past that 500 mark the tmc by tipman I would give it a four out of five stars simply because they don't give me enough mags, and I'm a mag kind of guy. Now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and put this on safe. So just don't, you know, don't freak out, you know, when the thing goes off or anything. I did my best. So we're going to go ahead and put this off to the side for right now. So if you like anything you see here, let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions for me, too, seriously, let me know. Now, you've seen this already. I'm just going to give you a quick, brief uh, uh, walkthrough of this. This is my main vest. I use this for my woods, uh, my woods balling, my simulation games. Uh, up here, you got yourself a little pouch. Uh, now, I can put my mags in here as well if I wanted to. Uh, I do have a knife that I carry on me. Uh, I, I put it in here just for dire times, if you will. Um, I've actually had a run-in with a fucking possum once while actually playing paintball midday, and it was rabid, so that came in handy. This right here is actually a pouch for all of my... Uh, and I put uh, Sometimes if I have a lot of shit ton of mags, I put my uh, spare parts in here. Grenades, um, I usually hang off the sides or up here on the top uh, part here. Now, I have... Um, a couple of other things that I like to put here strap on uh, I got all my mags would be resting right here in this uh, part of the vest here this right here I use for any smoke grenades that I might carry around just because they are expensive as shit and if I drop them I get pissed and of course on the back end of this you can see I, <laughs> I got a lot of rounds that I took uh, over the course but I put more mags just mags 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 shit ton of mags gonna go on the bottom end here and up top, I'm just going to keep uh, just some miscellaneous stuff like uh, spare parts to fix my guns, etc. Um, so we have that. Now, uh, people who want to do the whole getup, if I had to say, if I had to say, okay, you got to start out, if you want to start off on paintball, get yourself a semi automatic, real cheap, dirt cheap uh, rifle as a starter pack. Don't get mag fed, that is expensive as shit. You know, just get a CO2 canister, not an O2. If you have the money for an O2, recommend you get the O2. But simplistic, semi-automatic works just fine. They're relatively cheap. They look nice. They look good. They're, they're very easy to maintain. Because, yes, you got to break all of these down and repair them. Still in the process of repairing this fucktard. Um, but uh, essentially, if you know what you're doing, then you're fine. You're like, I'm not even going to... This, this section of the video is totally not for you. This right here... Though, uh, semi-automatic, you don't need any of this. I will suggest, though, just in case you don't want to ruin your clothes, I'm just going to quickly, briefly let you guys in on the camo for my, for my guys here. But we use an Eflectran camo. Th these are the pants right here. Uh, very similar to the military style. You got your pockets, uh, tack pockets here, here, and here. Uh, back pockets, zippers, etc. They're very durable. Um... Probably haven't washed them in about six months, but I mean, I, I don't remember using them at all. Uh, now, this is my shirt. Uh, the reason why I got this instead of like the full on, you know, um, regular E Flak Tran shirt. Now, for those of you, Forest E Flak Tran. This is not any other type of camo. This is E Flak Tran. This is not used by any known U.S. military personnel that I know of today, right now. Um, this is by Empire. Empire, as you can see here, that's the logo right there. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, there should be a little logo somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so Eclipse has great camos, great um, you know shirts. This is very high quality fabrics that they use. Um, as you can see here, this is just simply you know your basic run of the mill uh, medium tack shirt uh, and, and of course you do have your patch sites where you put your patches uh, as well as your pockets and such it is slightly padded as well which is really nice 
you definitely need to get it padded. If you don't get padded clothing, you are going to be sore as a motherfucker. Um, I couldn't be any more realistic than that. Like, get padded clothing. Padded clothing is way too important for you. Uh, definitely help you in the long run. We are coming up on the 30-minute mark here, guys. But if you are just joining in, you're liking what you're seeing, or if you want to go see the rest of the video, do so now. If you're watching this in the future and you haven't yet subscribed, remember to hit that like button and that sub button. For all of you guys here, uh, thank you very much for tuning in to the very first ever uh, vlog, video blog on the Dr. 617 YouTube channel. Again, this is the Dr. 617. You guys know how it goes. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always... I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys.